the order of the high court clearly mentions that not registering an FIR on 7th of November 2015, the day when Father Bismarck's body was found, was a grave mistake by the police department. FIR should have been registered at that time and since it had not been registered, it has to be registered now. And after registering an FIR, an investigation has to be carried out from a new angle or a fresh angle and the report of that investigation every three months has to be submitted to the Honorable High Court. And as per the order, what will be the basis of that FIR? Basis of the FIR would be the complaint which had been filed by Mario Bismarck, Mario Dias, sorry, Mario Dias on 7th of November. That will be the basis. And it is a great slap on the face of Lakshmikan Parsekar, on the face of Umesh Gaukar, on the face of Kartik Kashyap, and on the face of Inspector Sinari of Old Goa. All these people have always contended that Father Bismarck died a death due to accidental drowning, which is not the case, and that's why the investigation is taking place. And these people should feel some shame today. I believe and I suggest the family that in such circumstances, when victory has been meted to us, we should consider it as justice being done to Father Bismarck by the court. And justice in India never comes in a single piece. It always comes into installment. So this is the first installment of justice. So considering as a token installment, the burial should be performed. But ultimately, again, the answer to this question remains with the family, not with me. Then supporters of Father Bismarck, his disciples, his followers, his friends and his lovers will not keep quiet. We will oppose any move to bury Father Bismarck by the government tooth and nail as long as we are alive. Video journalist Abhijit Jadav from Penjim for HCN.